Hello guys. So we are solving few questions from variant workbook. I have also put in the concept video of budget line. If you have not seen that, uh, I would urge you to see that first. And we have done, I think, seven, eight applications already of uh, budget constraints. So have a look at that as well. Uh, it will give you more clarity. This question is not from variant workbook. Uh, this is, um, uh, this is uh, the question on kinged budget constraint again. So I think we have done uh, one question of King budget constraint already. We're doing one more. Have a look at this. This will uh, uh, give you more firm footing on the topic of budget constraint, right? Have a look at this question, Britta. Let us look at one more question on budget line. So this is uh, like this, Abdul's consumption. bundle consist of food F and leisure L. He has 80 hours a week to allocate between labor and leisure. between labor and leisure. So, but you understand one thing now. When he has 80 hours, he can spend capital L hours, L hours in leisure. Let's say he is spending small L hours in labor. That is equal to 80. That is given to you. So, this is nothing but your time constraint. Capital L hours as leisure, small L hours as labor, and 80 is your the total time which is available. Okay. The price of food is rupee one per unit. Right. And his wage rate is rupees five per hour. Now you also know this that whenever you want to draw the budget line, you have to write what is your expenditure side. You have to write what is your income side, right? So what is your expenditure side? You are consuming food. So you will be writing. What is your expenditure side? And you will be writing what is your income side. So your expenditure side is what you will be. Your, your, you are consuming food F. At what price you are consuming? At one rupee per unit of food what is your income you are you are working for how many hours small l hours what is the wage rate which you are getting for every hour w in our case so can i write this as f equals to in place of w i can write 5 in place of small l i can write 80 minus l from the budget constraint. Is this right? From the budget constraint. I can write like this. Any wage income
above rupees 100 is subject to a tax of 50%. Write and draw your budget line. Write and draw your budget line. Right. So, beta, they, the moment they have written this, any wage income which is above rupees 100, that is subject to a tax. So, don't you think that there are now, there are two cases when your wage income is less than 100, when your wage income is greater than 100? Right. So please write when wage income is less than hundred. When wage income is less than hundred. Right. Uh, so, beta, this is what my budget concern. What is my wage income? My wage income is 5 into 80 minus L. That is what my wage income is. I want this to be less than 100. This is what my wage income is. Na? 5 into 80 minus L. Uh, so, if wage income is less than 100, this in fact is what my budget line is. Your expenditure equals to income. When wage income is greater than 100. When wage income is greater than 100. Then whatever you are going to earn. That will be subject to a tax. That is there. Okay. Okay. What is my expenditure side when wage income is greater than 100? How much I am consuming? F. At what price I am consuming? 1. Right. Okay. I would have already earned 100. Then only I am going above 100. So I am writing my income side. So I would have already earned 100 plus. Now there is an extra amount which I am earning. What is that extra amount? What is my wage income now? 80 minus capital L is the number of hours I am working into wage. That is what my wage income is. But this wage income is greater than 100. So this is greater than 100 by this much amount. This is the wage income I'm getting, right? And this is greater than 100. So this is an extra wage income which I have now. This wage income is subjected to a tax. This wage income is subjected to a tax. Again, listen to me. When I'm talking about greater than 100, right, greater than 100, I am just giving you an example. So, I am just giving you an example. So, I am just giving you an example. And 150 minus 100 is extra income. Hai. 150 minus 100 is extra income. It is paid tax. So, what is income? Kitni hai? Number of hours I am working into wage rate. That is what my income. Minus 100 means. The extra, extra income which I have above 100. That is taxed. That is taxed, right? You don't have to write all this. That is taxed. Huh? So, this is going to be. Now, listen to me carefully. Can I write this as? Can I write this as this 100? This half. 400. Minus 5L minus 100. Uh -huh. So can I write this as 100 plus half 300 minus 5L. 
So this is 100 plus 150 minus 2.5. Minus 2.5. So this thing is what beta? 250 minus 2.5. This is 250 minus 2.5. Is this right? Is this right? This guy is This guy is 400 minus 5F. That is there. So you understood when wage income is greater than greater than 100 and wage income less than equal to 100. Keep this thing in head. Keep this thing in head. Huh? Now, beta. Uh -huh. Okay. Abhi bhi question nahi katam hua hai. Okay. When when income is 100 what is the number of hours you are spending in leisure? Beta, income 100 kab hai? Ye wala wo case hai na? 400 minus 5 This should be equal to 100. So this is 300 equals to 5L. So that is L equals to 60. Right? That is L equals to 60. Huh? Are you with me? So when the number of, number of hours you're spending in leisure is 60 or more than 60, this is going to be your wage income. Right? The more hours you are spending in leisure, the less you are working, the less your income is going to be. The less hours you are spending in leisure, the more income you will have. Right? So, can I also write it this way? When L is greater than or equal to 60, means when the number of hours you're spending in leisure is greater than 60, then this is what your constraint is. Right? When L is less than 60, then this is what your constraint is. You with me? This is what the budget line is going to look like. This is what the budget line is going to look like. You with me, all of you? Huh? Now just have a look at this. Tick, 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 tick. So you have leisure here. That is your L. You have uh, food here. That is your consumption. Better just look at this line. F equals to 400 minus 5. When F is 0, 400 is equal to 5. L L is equal to 60. Right? When L is 0, this is 400. Uh, when L is 0, right? F is equal to 400. That is what it is. When L is 0, F is equal to 400. So can I just draw this? You with me? Right? Uh, oh, I have done this wrong. I'm so sorry about it. So just have a look at the first line. F equals to 400 minus 5. Beta. When F is 0, then according to this, this is 400 minus 5L equals to 0. So, L is equal to 80. No? When L is 0, F is equal to 400. I can do it this way. I've just drawn the first line. Uh, 
200. This is 80. You with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is 80. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. Then when F is 250 minus 2.5L. Again. When L is 0, F is 250. When F is 0, then it is 250 equals to 2.5. So it is 250 upon 2.5. You with me? So L equals to hundred out there. L equals to hundred out there. Uh huh. So you have this guy. So this is this is two fifty. This is hundred. And when L is equal to 60, when L is equal to 60, then F is equal to, why I'm putting L is equal to 60? Because I've already calculated this, right? We've already calculated this. So I just want to know because that is an intersection point. So F is 100. This guy is 100. Are you with me? Now can you just understand this? But uh, this line is what? This is 400 minus 5L. Huh? When L is greater than 60, you have this line. 400 minus 5L. So this line is 400 minus 5L. And this is only when L is greater than 60. So this I'm going to... Darken this line. Huh? This is there. When L is less than 60, now beta, this line is 250 minus 2.5. Uh, so when L is less than 60, you have this line. So I'll be darkening this. Anji beta. And this is my intersection. This is what my intersection is. Are you with me? Right? This is important. This is important. So this one has the slope. I mean, this is what line? F is equal to 250 minus 2.5. Hmm? This line is and what is this line? F is equal to 400 minus 5. Are you with me, beta? So this is an example of your kinged budget line for consumption and leisure. Right? So I hope you would have understood something through this recording. I hope you like this. Thank you, Beta. Please make notes. Huh? Okay. Thank you, Beta.